Welcome back friends and viewers and today I'm going to be making a tutorial you know I just finished the song here and I was very very you know kind of figuring trying to figure out how we're going to render it and what we're going to bring it out and um, how we're going to visualize it and I didn't know that FL Studio has its own plugin which actually does videos for YouTube and it actually does visualization as well yes it's all built into FL Studio and of course let's go all the way down here let's bring this video all the way so you guys can see it and it is of course the z game editor um visualizer it's this little plugin right here let's click it up it comes with fl studio 12 and there we go we can see a visualization that we've got running in the background here at the same time you've got a phenomenal amount of settings i mean i can't go through all these settings it's just too much to do you can side chain them you can enter bitmaps you know which is very cool to actually um brand it and that kind of thing you can even put your own videos into it as well and over you know overdub videos with it and everything else it seems to have three cool layers and um it's even got a cool zoom function which i guarantee you, you can automate with one of your keys as well and uh, you know you can zoom you can rotate and everything else you know it would be cool just to like automate this as well but anyway we're not gonna um let's just to stop and freeze it so right um this is basically the little visualization so what it does is it actually will um you can render these videos out let me show you guys as well what happens i've just um for example i've just put mine directly on my main route here so as the song plays um for example uh yeah yeah we just push play on the song here and you'll see it, it will behave in accordance with um what you're doing so let's go to a more active part of the song there and you got some very cool visualization happening there on the screen once again um a lot of presets but the cool thing as well is you can experiment by adding your own here you know i mean you can choose whatever they've got here i mean i haven't played with all of them but there's just so many to choose from just keep on adding and choosing different ones and uh, yeah now we've got some other stuff happening here I mean, here, this is a cool one as well. Add your own chat here and everything else, which would be quite cool to be able to actually um, write, you know, your own logos and that kind of thing. Um, we, we use a t different technique altogether, but I mean, you could definitely um, put your own stuff through. Uh, it's just brilliant. You, know, you play around with it, guys. I'm just showing you the basic principle of how to actually um, get the little bugger out there. So you got your bitmaps here. You can add your bitmaps in. As I said, your meshes, your video cues, and of course, your video, if you want to add. You can even add camera. Wow. That would be even more phenomenal. So, you know, I'm going to experiment a lot more with this. Um, anyway, exporting it, very easy. You got to export there. And of course, now, here's a cool thing. You can select from 2K, 4K, normal HD to, um, yeah, 120 by 180, and a lot of very, very cool 2K, 4K, and 5K videos, and that kind of thing. Once again, very, very nice. And once you say export, it will export it as a WNV format, and, um, right, a WMV format, and of course, at the same time, will prompt you for the audio quality as well. So it'll sync, you know, it'll keep the audio, and of course, um, yeah, once you've, you could actually render your whole YouTube video art with this, and um, y there you go, finito. You got some cool visualization once you played around with it and come up with your own original technique and um, that kind of thing. On our side, okay, we, we use a total different technique, and that's of course, we went into um, Sony Vegas, for example. So right, in Sony Vegas, we, we just use it, as, you know, we, we did one visualization, which was actually, um, well, yeah, let me just, you, you could do this with After Effects or any program you want. I mean, any video editing program should be able to do exactly the same thing. So we've got the part that we rented out in FL Studio, but we've also got this logo of ours, which we kind of like. So we made this little 3D rotation logo here. So what we want to do is we want to keep that in with the um, whole what you call it the whole production kind of thing you know just to add some branding to it so what we've actually done is we've got the bottom track which is a normal avr rendered out like that and at the same time what we do is at on top of it we just added exactly the render from fl studio which is actually the visualized um okay let's go to just make it standard so this is what was rendered out in fl studio which uh, looks something like that and um right so at the same time we've just used the screen blending mode which actually overlays it over the um kind of joins both the screens in together and it looks like that and then what we did on top is we just added another um picture and that is of 
which call it of the logo rotating itself but this time what we've done is um you know this one over here what we've actually done is we've just um okay that's off center low okay because i was doing something else but anyway so that's somewhere there so what we've actually done here is um if you see this one here it's just basically we've masked out the whole thing so you've got the center piece and then of course you've got the um right you know you got control over your center piece so the logo looks kind of clear let's just put it back to where it belongs so yeah um very easy to do for example this is just a normal mask with a feather on it once again you could use after effects or premiere or any editing software you want so th this way it gives us a solid um logo at the same time you get this cool effect happening here but once again i mean there's a hundred there's thousands of things you can do that's that's up to your imagination i'm just showing you guys the technique we you know what we actually the technique we use to make it and uh right so once again back into fl studio remarkable brilliant plugin and um i mean you can go here and there's so many presets and everything else once again let's just open up the little bugger and uh let's go back to the Oh, the screens are just glitching out because we've got the what you call it the um the screen recording software and it just makes everything a little bit more um right so you got the presets here and you can choose like some of the cool ones i've got and they've got some very nice ones i don't know what red eye is let's look at what red eye does and um right we've got red eye happening there and once again ah that's so cool and once again you can change the settings in it and everything ah oh, it's just you, you get the drift you get the drift right so let's just choose one last one and that is warp drip yeah okay warp drip once again very cool so right on guys that's about it hope you guys enjoyed this if you like this kind of video tutorial that kind of thing i might have rushed it through i'm just showing you the basics of how this works i'm experimenting with it right now as well because i just found it and i'm got kind of very excited about it and uh right keep posted and uh, let me know if you guys want to see a lot more of these and um yeah i'll keep making them it's a lot of fun right on keep on making some cool beats and um see you guys later over and out